Student pilot Max Sylvester had not spent more than 10 minutes in control of an aircraft during his first two flying lessons, and during his third, his instructor, who had so far watched his every move, became unconscious, leaving Max alone in the cockpit. At 4 p.m. on the 31st of August 2019, at Jandakot Airport in Western Australia, Max settled into the two-seater Cessna 152 for his third lesson overall, and the first in the Cessna 152. As they cruised at 3,500 feet, he noticed his instructor Rob was staring out of the window into the sky. Max assumed he'd seen something, but there was nothing there. The instructor began shaking and it was clear that something was wrong. He was having a seizure. Without flying experience or an instructor, Max was left alone to deal with the emergency and he had his wife and three children waiting on the ground. This is the conversation between Max and air traffic control. Emergency, emergency, emergency. This is Tango Foxtrot Romeo. Can you hear me? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, Jandicott Tower. I can hear you. What's the problem? I can't hear you very well. Can you hear me? Do you know? Do you have a transponder on board? I can hear you very well. I'm going to decrease the um, decrease my engine so I can hear you a little bit better. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, do you know what your altitude is? Can you hear me? Romeo, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, do you know where your transponder is? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, are you familiar with how to operate the airplane? Very, very light. This is my first um, lesson. Structure at the moment, are they unconscious? He's leaning over my shoulder. I'm trying to keep him up, but he keeps falling down. Just on the aircraft. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the wings stay level and that you keep a consistent speed and consistent altitude. And so at the moment, my altitude is 1,900. Take a Foxtrot, Romeo, roger. Do you, have a, uh, do you know if you have a transponder on board? Do you know what that is? Copy that, I do. Okay, do you know what it's reading right now? What's that, sorry? What's the numbers on the transponder? Can you repeat that, please? What are the numbers on the transponder reading? The reading is nose down. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, uh, can you see any obvious landmarks? For example, the Quinana Freeway, can you see that out the window at all? Yes, I can see Pumpton Lake. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, good. I think we have you identified at the moment. Can you see the Jandicott Airport at all? I've activated the rotating light on top of the tower. At the moment, it looks like you're heading north, and it should be. If you look uh, directly ahead, and then to the right, just a little bit, you should see the runways there. Can you see that? Um, yep, yeah, I'm just going over Thompson Lake. We were originally meant to be going through the boat shed and then coming through, but if you what one way do you want me to land on? Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. We will uh, try to uh, get you in for runway 30. You can come straight to the airport right now if you like. Come direct to Janicott. Copy that. Do you want me to wash some of this speed off? Because currently I'm at 2,600 uh, and my airspeed is 1,110. Uh, Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Uh, we did copy that. We're just trying to visually identify you at the moment. Can you make a very gentle right turn for me? And that will help us identify who you are. Copy that. Doing a right turn now. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, thanks. We can see you out the window, so we're tracking where you are at the moment. You're doing a really great job. I know this is very stressful, but you're doing an amazing job, and we're going to help you get down to the ground, okay? If I do a flyover first, please. As well, uh, sorry, to um, your company, just to make them aware of everything that's happening, so they can help out um, as needed shortly. Uh, so if you want to just uh, straight away, um, we'll just overfly to the field and get you nice and comfortable with that. So you can just overfly direct Jandicott and we'll get you having a look at the runway so that you're familiar with the runway that we're going to get you to land on. Copy that, I'll just do a fly around then. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. There's currently no other traffic airborne at Jandicott at the moment, so you're not going to be uh, getting too close to anyone. That's going to be fine. Sorry, what was that? Can you repeat that? 
Fox Trot Romeo, there's no one else airborne um, at Jandicott at the moment. You're the only one up there. So uh, you can um, take your time just getting familiar. There's no one else that you're going to be uh, getting any, anywhere close to. Uh, if you want to reduce your speed there, um, just watch. It's called your RPM, that 2,600 uh, that you were talking about. That's your RPM. Just make sure that, you're, um, that the, the numbers on that are in the green, um, not yellow or red and you can just re gently reduce that speed there, but just uh, yeah, keep an eye on uh, on your um, your speed, that you're not going into the red too much, and uh, keeping those wings level, and keeping your um, your nose nice and level on the horizon. Yes, copy that. I've decreased it now just under 2,500, so I'll just maintain this at the moment. Okay, thank you, Fox Trot Romeo. We're getting an instructor out at the moment to to, um, to help give you more specific information for your aircraft. Um, right now, you're you're flying uh, in that one two direction. So the runway that you're sort of going in the direction of is going to be uh, opposite direction to where um, you're going to be flying to. Did you want to make a slight uh, right turn? Um, if you want, or Yep, there you go. So just continue that nice right turn for me. And out the right hand side of the window you'll see the runways and we'll um I'll just get you to have a look at the runway you're gonna land on. Copy that, thanks for your help. Alright, that's what we're here for. Lucky I remembered how to put on to the actual right radio because I was we we're on the Addis. Yeah, the uh, the ATIS won't be helping you, but uh, I will be able to help you. That's what we're here for, so it's a really good thing you, you're able to find that. <laughs> so at the right-hand side of the window, you're going to see runway 30. You'll see an aircraft waiting uh, on the ground right next to the runway. Um, and that's the threshold that you're going to land on. Can you see that? Yes, I can see the headlights of the aircraft. Thank you, Fox Shot Romeo. Um, just in front of you and just slightly to the left is the runway we're going to land you on. That's runway 30. So if if you're able to see it, there's three runways at the airport. There's two that are parallel to each other. There's one single runway that's crossing across both of them. That runway is out to your left right now. That's the runway we're going to land you on. Can you see that? Big three zero on the threshold? Yep, copy that. Yes, that's the one we're going to land you on. Um, so what I want you to do now is make a left 90 degree turn to start flying along that runway and that's going to get you into a nice circle pattern that's going to um, fly you along the runway and then back onto a left turn to sort of start doing a circle over that runway if that makes sense. Yeah, so you just want me to do a circuit around that runway. That's great. So right now, just straighten up, go nice swings level, nice and calm, and straight up the runway, um, and just fly along the runway so you get an idea of uh, what it feels like to be over flying that runway. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Have you landed um, uh, any aircraft before uh, by yourself or with someone else at the controls with you? No, I haven't. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Um, when you're ready, make a left turn, and we're going to start a, a nice square um, circuit around that runway, so that'll be your uh, your next leg is a nice 90 degree turn there. Same uh, Fox Romeo, right can you tell me how your instructor's doing at the moment? How's he, how's he looking? Uh, no, he hasn't woken up. I've just tried to lift his head back up just to check to see how he's going, but he's not responding. So we're going to need an ambulance and somebody here. Make that. The airplane, yeah. the instructor. Um, we do have an ambulance coming, they're on the way, so they're going to meet you on the ground and they're going to give him the best care that they can. Um, the most important thing, because he's sitting, um, if you can, keep his head upright, um, sort of leaning back against the headrest if there is one, and that'll just keep his airway nice and open for us. Copy that. Okay, he's opening his eyes now. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Fox Trot Romeo, uh, Roger. Are you able to uh, communicate with him at all? Sorry, can you repeat that? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, is your instructor communicating at all? No, he's not. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, that's okay. Your your job right now is just keep focusing on that aircraft um, as best you can. Um, secondary to that is just to keep his head upright and his body upright in the seat. Um, but we're going to um, get you on the ground very soon and get uh, both of you guys uh, on the ground safely. When you're ready, make that left turn. Um, back towards the, the runway again and we'll line up again and just sort of get your feeling for that. If you want, you can start making a nice gentle descent back towards the runway and um, sort of start lining up and get a feel for what it feels like to start descending and, and landing towards the runway. Copy that. Thank you, Fox Trot Romeo. Do you know uh, how long have you been airborne? Uh, sorry, do you know uh, how much fuel you might have on board? 
pretty sure now it works with gallons, but it says uh, I've just over half. Thank you, Fox Rowe, mate. That's OK. I just had a quick chat, uh, actually, to your company. They told me you've got five hours of fuel on board. So you've got, um, I think you've spent about an hour airborne so far, so we've got plenty and plenty of time to do some practice and rehearsal before we get you on the ground, so nothing to worry about there. OK, so when would you like me to get onto the ground, then? I think Fox Romeo, ultimately it's up to you. Um, we want you to be nice and comfortable before you, you attempt a landing. So just what you're doing right now and practicing on the runway is um, uh, is really good. So right now, just in this moment, just get a feel for what it looks like with that runway beneath you. Um, and as we slowly descend you towards the runway, um, when you're happy to make that landing. Yeah, copy that. That crosswind is pretty bad, so I've just got to get used to the way that the aircraft flies. Because normally I'm flying the 172, so... This one's a, a lot different. Yeah, they, um, they, they told us that you, you can fly uh, the 172 um, after a couple of hours. So that's really, really good. Just keep doing what you're doing um, and get the feel for how the 152 feels. Obviously a little bit different, but uh, you're doing really, really well. You're doing an amazing job. Yeah, well, my flight instructor did say that I was the best student he's had. Well, we definitely have a story to tell at the end of this one. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Your instructor, uh, I have one of your instructors behind me. He says that the approach you just made, before you got to the runway, the height that you got down to was perfect. So what you were doing to see, to see how low you needed to go to land on the runway, you got it down to the exact perfect spot. So that was perfect, your height. What we need to do uh, is on the next approach, is just reduce the speed. Can, can you repeat that last? So we just need to reduce your speed, how fast you're going. Sorry, can you repeat that last? It's just my headset's not very um, loud. Thank you, Fox Romeo. Mean, that's okay. It's just your speed. You're a little bit too fast. So on the next approach, we need you to go a little bit slower. Thank you, Fox Romeo. Mean, and you're doing a really great job. Everything that you're doing is really, really good. Your turns are really nice and gentle. You're holding your altitude really well. Everything that you're doing is spot on. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you. Tango Foxtrot Romeo. I hope they don't think I'm paying for this flight. Sorry to say. So your Foxtrot Romeo, uh, yeah, no, if, uh, if they make you pay for it, I'll pay for it with my own wallet. I uh, wouldn't expect that. Thank you, Fox Romeo. I mean, what we were just talking about before with the instructor, he says that your approach to the runway, so as you were going down to see how low you could get to the runway, you did it perfectly. Your approach down to the runway was perfect. Yeah. It was just a little bit too fast. So we just need you for the next time just to slow it down a little bit. Um, that was the only problem, it was just a little bit too quick heading down towards the runway. Yeah, copy that. I was just doing it just so I can actually check. I wasn't going to land, I just wanted to check to make sure uh, what my angle is and how the crosswind is going to feel. Exactly what we need you to do. We're not going to make you land or anything until you are absolutely ready to do it. Um, however, just so that you know, when it comes time to land, that approach that you made, it was perfect. So we want you to do the exact same thing. And even though we're not going to get you to land just yet, um, if you want to keep on practicing that approach just to get that right, that's exactly what we want you to do. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, copy that. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, I've got the instructor in the cab now. His name's Malcolm. I'm going to get him onto the radio now and have a chat to you about the actual landing procedure. He's going to tell you exactly what to do and talk you through what to do with the landing. Yeah, copy that. You're looking good. How are you going? You're on the downwind leg and you're back to a thousand feet, are you? Uh, yes, I'm on downwind now. If you're going to be, um, if I'm on the uh, three zero runway, correct. Right. When you turn on to your final leg again, you're going to lower your nose and aim for the runway threshold, and do precisely the same that you, um, thing that you were doing previously when you were approaching the runway. Tell me that, Malcolm. Thank you. Down car five uh, on site. Um, we're just going to position ourselves to find shell at the moment. We might stay on ground for now. Final now. Your final, reduce the power to 1,700 RPM. The aircraft's Cessna 152, it's Tango Fox and Romeo, they're currently on final. Um, they're the 
student uh, on in the aircraft, flying the aircraft, so there's just a uh, instructor who is medically incapacitated. Uh, the student hasn't landed before, so we've got an instructor, another instructor in the tower trying to talk him down. Uh, he's doing some practice approaches. Uh, he's currently on final runway 30 low, just behind the NDB as you're looking at it. And uh, we're hoping to get him a little bit more proficient at the approach, and then uh, we'll do a attempt at landing. Would you like me to increase flaps or no? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, increase power, climb now. Increase power, climb now. Copy that, flying up, increasing power down. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, I think I was going way too slow for that one. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, it's just the controller again. Yeah, it's just a little bit too low um, and too far out there. So we want you to stay nice and high until you're established on final and then we'll bring you down from there. Copy that. Thank you, Proctor. I mean, you're still doing a really great job. Um, you're doing an amazing job, and we're going to get you on the ground real soon. Just keep in that left-hand circuit for me, and um, just keep uh, on nice, easy, gentle turns throughout the circuit. We'll keep you at a 1,000 feet uh, as you're on that base and down to final, and we'll bring you down from there again. Copy that. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo, just to help you um, uh, maintain that level of fight. Uh, don't forget your trim as well. Keep the trim nice and set for level flight. Yeah, I have been. Great work. You're well ahead of me. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, is Robert awake? Yeah, he's a little bit awake, but he just randomly tries to um, change the radio and I've just told him to just leave things alone for now. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, that's really, really good. He's probably a little bit groggy and not understanding what's happening. You're um, in charge at the moment, um, so what you're doing is really, really good. You're handling the situation really well. Keep that up. You're doing really great. Thank you. Tango Foxtrot Romeo. Thank you. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, we're going to have a go on uh, practicing with the flaps. How does that feel? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, uh, do you know how to work the flaps on the 152? Tango Foxtrot Romeo, yes I do. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, Roger. Uh, just start your left hand now from base for me. Copy that. Tango Foxtrot Romeo. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, we're just going to reduce your speed again. So it's going to be uh, just very gently reducing the power back to 1700 RPM. Lifting the nose slightly to get our speed back to 70 knots. Uh, very gently lifting that nose up just to maintain 70 knots and 1,700 on the RPM. 1,770, 65 knots. Tango Foxtrot Romeo, yep, that's good. We don't want to drop below 70 knots though. So if you are starting to drop below 70 knots, we just need to lower the nose down a little bit, just to maintain that power, and then increase the, um, the engine just a little bit, just to maintain the height. How's that feeling? Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Just a little bit more engine power, please. You're dropping a little bit too low there. Yep, that's great. Just a little bit more power. Make sure you're aiming the nose at the threshold. It's the one with the red light uh, sticking on. Copy that. That's really good. Keep maintaining the speed. Lower the nose just slightly. Keep the nose coming down just slightly. You want me to land? Yep. Up to you, land it. Nose down towards the threshold, nose down. Looking great, mate, this is perfect. Nose down more, 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 perfect, perfect. Power, little bit, power off, power off, power off, power off. Raise the nose gently, raise the nose gently, hold it off, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it right there, this is perfect. Hold it, hold it, very gently start breaking now. Gently start breaking now, and you're down on the ground. You did it, mate. Well done. That's amazing. You've done so well. Just break right there on the runway, and we're going to have all the vehicles come out and meet you on the runway. Just hold it right there. You've done absolutely an amazing job. Well done. Okay, Fox Foxtrot Romeo, uh, just stop the, uh, the aircraft there. The uh, vehicles are now going to come out and meet you there. Just, uh, yeah, when you're ready, you can uh, just stop there and uh, engine down to idle. Thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. Congratulations on your first solo.
Alright, thank you, Foxtrot Romeo. The, um, the emergency vehicles are now with you. Just stop there and idle, full brakes on, and they're going to come out and help you um, close out the aircraft and get Robinson help. Well done, mate. Catch you later. An hour after his first contact with air traffic control, he had landed the plane. Attempt number five would be the one to bring them to the ground. Max was reunited with his family and his instructor was rushed to the hospital. It turned out he had a brain tumor and Max had saved both of their lives. Only a week or two later, Max was back in the cockpit working towards his commercial license. The instructor said he was lucky to be flying with Max on that Saturday in August. Thanks for watching. Watch more air traffic control videos by clicking on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next one.